Let me see. Just today, we're going to talk about here in the Middle Ages. The first thing I have to talk about is the fall of the Roman Empire, which is commonly called the Dark Ages. A new civilization had to emerge in Europe this time. It's called the Medieval or Middle Ages. So Europe's still a very fertile land. We have the topography of Europe is the mountains. That's the Pyrenees, and that is the Alps. The plains are fertile and they have plenty of rain. The climate is described as Mediterranean, which is pretty much mild. Rivers provide waterways for travel and trade. And um, the rivers, as they exit to the ocean, supply a, have a rich supply of soil. And the two largest rivers are the Danube and the Rhine. So new peoples move into Europe. They're the the Lombards and the Germanic tribes. Um, the Frankish king Clovis I defeated the last Roman army in 486. In 717, Charles Martel or Charles Martel, Martel, Martel united the Frankish Empire, which grandson of Charlemagne or Charles the Great. Charles the Great came over in 1214. Charles was about 6'5. Five. Five. where he brought in scholars from all over the country and taught them of his children. Um, so you see him holding his orb in his right hand, I think, yeah, right hand, and it has a cross on top of the world. Uh, that means that Christianity dom dominates the world. So my question today, today is, why did the church need someone? 